Hi everyone, uh, I'm Thomas Byrne and I'm the Minister of State for European Affairs. Unfortunately, I'm not able to be with you today, but I'm very grateful nonetheless to be able to speak to you, as this is a project that sits at the heart of many passions of mine. Let me begin by briefly talking about the Communicating Europe initiative, which helped fund the booklet being launched today. The Communicating Europe initiative aims to promote dialogue about Ireland's relationship with the European Union, as well as raise awareness of the role that the European Union plays in our daily lives. We often hear about the big picture, how important the EU is for fighting COVID-19 or tackling climate change. But we hear less, I would say, about how the European Union positively affects us in our individual daily lives. But the breadth of the Communicating Europe projects this year, 27 in total, shows just how rich and positive that impact can be. Projects have ranged from children uh, phoning into a radio show to discuss uh, the policies and politics of the EU to an academic discussion uh, on the connection between the EU and peace building in Northern Ireland. Next year, of course, we will be continuing the initiative and I would encourage you to participate. As some of you will be aware, in January 1972, Ireland signed the Treaty of Accession to join what was then the European Economic Community. This was ratified by the people of Ireland by over 80% support in the subsequent referendum. So next year, a major focus for Communicating Europe would be on highlighting and celebrating 50 years of being a member of the European Union. So if you're interested, do keep an eye on our websites and our social media channels. I'm certainly hopeful we'll receive another application from the Cork Education and Training Board. Their connections to Europe are both deep and impressive. Through Cork ETB's engagement with fellow institutions across the European Union, they benefit from many advantages. Students have access to the Erasmus Plus programme, as well as opportunities for work placement assignments in a host of EU partner organisations. By connecting with peer institutions, Cork ETB is at the cutting edge of educational best practice and innovation, while also being part of the conversation about how best to use digital technologies such as virtual reality. I've mentioned that the project sits at an important crossroads of the issues that I'm passionate about. Education in all its forms is crucial for the dignity and confidence of people, as well as being the gateway for upward mobility and personal accomplishment and our economic and social goals as a nation. This is especially true of vocational and skills education, which this booklet focuses on. Vocational education gives people a second chance and a way to change the course of their career and even their lives. But what's at stake here is more than individual issues or even local Cork issues. Vocational programmes like those offered by Cork ETB are tangible examples of what we will need to do much more over the next decade as we transition to a green economy. Across Europe, ordinary citizens are having their say on what they think Europe's future should look like. One of the most endorsed ideas that the discussion in that discussion is that the EU must ensure its climate change strategy includes a just transition that protects workers, and enables retraining and upskilling and protects communities as well. I'm heartened by this show of solidarity from fellow citizens, but realise it's all too easy to speak about solidarity and just transition in, in the abstract. What this book just shows is that what those ideas look like in practice and how what is being done in Cork ETB may even serve as a model for tackling the challenges that we will face as we transition to a new economy over the next decade. So I just want to finish by saying congratulations, co gorgeous on such an impressive booklet and to thank you all for the important work you continue to do in Cork Educational Training Board. Gurmagwif agus berbuwa.